Welcome to the Max to Classroom. In this video, we'll walk through how to install MXSP. Installing Max to Storage is a simple process which only takes 15 minutes from start to the time you're ready to provision virtual machines. We begin by launching the Java application. Once the application is opened, accept the license agreement and verify that your environment meets the prerequisites. Provide the IP address and the credentials for vCenter. Select the data center and cluster you wish to install MXSP on. Provide the properties for the Maxta installation, including Maxta management network details, Maxta storage network details, and other options such as rack awareness, storage page size, SSD mirroring, and metadev. Next, select which disks to use as part of the Maxta data store. By default, Maxta will install to the largest data store and will consume all disks except for the ESXi boot disk. Now, select which vSwitch to use for the management network. This will be used for the public management interface of the Maxta controller or virtual machine. On this screen, we'll select which network interface or vSwitch to use for the Maxta storage network. Provide the credentials for all ESXi hosts in the cluster. After the cluster has passed validation, a summary screen will appear with the details of the installation. Select Install and the installation will begin. At this time, Maxta is verifying the environment, creating networking, deploying the Maxta controller VMs, and creating the Maxta data store. After installation is completed, we can verify that the Maxta controller VMs are running and that we can access the Maxta UI, or MX Insight, to manage the virtual environment. As you can see, installing MXSP is simple. We recommend that before you install MXSP, you collect the vCenter and network information the install wizard requests in order to streamline the installation process. Thanks for watching this video, and be sure to check out our other videos to learn more about how to use MX Insight.